Hey there guys, welcome again and in this video we'll be talking about permutations. What is permutation? Permutation is the ordered arrangement of objects in a set. So, kung binigyan ka ng problem and it requires you to arrange objects or count the number of arrangements, so that is a permutation problem. But may iba't ibang uri ng formula na pwede natin gamitin to answer permutation problems kasi depende yan sa situation. So, we have here permutation of n objects taken r at a time. We also have permutation with identical objects or distinguishable permutations. And we have your circular permutations and others. So others, sometimes kasi magbibigay sila ng permutation problem where in my special condition. So we will look into that later. So let's start with the permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So this is denoted by this notation. Maliit na letter n. Tapos, like a capital letter P, tapos maliit na letter R. So, and para siyang NPR, but we read that as permutation of N objects taken R at a time. And we use this formula. So, this, yeah, it looks like an exclamation point, but we call that the factorial notation. So, if we have here this one, we don't read that as 3. Sorry. We read this as 3 factorial, okay? 3 factorial. And how do we evaluate factorials? We're just going to evaluate it this way. So yung 3 factorial magiging 3 times 2 times 1. So kung 5 factorial, that is 5 times 4 times 3 hanggang 1. So kung 100 factorial, that is 100 times 99 times 98 times 97 hanggang 1. So, ganun ang pag-evaluate ng factorial notation. 1 factorial is equal to 1, and 0 factorial is equal to 1. Uh, 0 factorial equal to 1 is kind of like a theorem. Fixed na siya at wala na tayong magagawa. So, yeah, 0 factorial is equal to 1. <laughs> Let's try to answer some problems regarding this one. Suppose there are six potted plants and we wish to arrange four of them in a row. In how many ways can this be done? Okay, so my six pots, and then we are going to arrange these four pots in a row. So, kukuha tayo from those six pots ng apat. Okay, so if we are going to follow the formula, it will look like this. Six permutation four. So, we are going to arrange four pots from six potted plants. Always remember na dapat mas malaki ang value ng n kesa kay r. So, I guess we can now substitute n factorial. Ang n natin ay 6. So, that will become 6 factorial. And we have n again. 6 minus r. Yung value ng r natin is 4. The quantity factorial. So, 6 factorial yung nasa taas. Okay, so sa baba, magiging 2 factorial. Because 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. And then the next thing we're going to do here is to expand 6 so that we can cancel. Okay, we cannot cancel yet. Hindi natin pwedeng i-cancel yung 6 and 2 at going 3, yung nasa taas, okay? So expand muna natin. So yung 6 factorial magiging 6 times 5 times 4. Times, three, times, two, times one. And then see two factorial magiging two times one. Okay, so ngayon na na yung numerator na ka express na siya as factors as well as the denominator pwede na tayong mag cancel. So ano ba yung mga common numbers dyan? So we can cancel two and one. So what's left is six times five times four times three. So yun, input na lang sa calculator. So, the answer here is uh, 360. So, there are 360 ways in which we can arrange four potted plants from six potted plants. So, that's how we are going to answer problems like this. So, let's have one last problem for this. In how many ways can six books be arranged on a shelf? So, you're going to arrange six from six books. So, if we're going to follow the formula, it will become like this. 6 
there are six objects, right? And then how many books are we going to arrange? We're going to arrange all of them. So six, permutation six, so we're going to arrange all of them, all the six of them. So if we're going to like uh, substitute that in formula, six factorial, six minus six, the quantity factorial. So magiging six factorial, six minus six is zero, so magiging zero factorial. And why did I tell you about zero factorial? Zero factorial is equal to one. Actually, ang input lang natin sa calculator natin is six factorial. So actually, my factorial notation din sa calculator, so we can evaluate factorials in the calculator. So hanapin nyo lang yung x exclamation mark. I think you need to press the shift button for you to, you know, activate or use the factorial notation. So 6 factorial is 720. So there are 720 ways in which we can arrange 6 books in a bookshelf. So imagine that there are a lot of arrangements. Well, let's go to the next one. It's permutation with identical objects or distinguishable permutations. So the number of distinguishable permutations of n objects where some of them are alike is given by n factorial over p factorial times q factorial, r factorial, and so on, where p are alike, q are alike, r are alike, and so on. So itong formula, ginagamit to kung sa problem ay may mga objects na magkakaparehas. Example, find the number of permutations of the letters of the word Mississippi. So dito kasi sa word na to, maraming letters ang magkakapareho. So we have to enumerate those letters muna. So tingnan natin kung ilan yung sa isang letter. So i-enumerate muna natin lahat ng mga letters na ginamit dito sa word na to. We have M, I, S, and P, I guess. So M, mag-isa lang niya. I, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. My 4 na letter I is a word na Mississippi. S, my apat din. And then we have here P na dalawa. Okay. So this is how we're going to do it. N factorial. So always remember na yung N yun yung kung ilan lahat ang objects in the set. So in this word, there are how many letters? Yun yung isa-substitute natin in place of N. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 letters. Yun yung ilalagay natin dito. So 11 factorial. I hope you're following. And then we have here P factorial, Q factorial, R factorial. Ito lang, Ito lang naman yung mga numbers ng mga objects na naulit. So M is 1. Okay, let's include that one. 1 factorial. We have another one, 4 factorial. And then 4 factorial. And then 2 factorial. After that one, actually walang effect to see 1 factorial kasi 1 din lang naman yan. I just erase it. Okay, so it looks messy. Uh, maybe if you're going to expand it, it will take the whole page of your paper. Okay, so turuan ko kayo kung paano ang pag-input nito sa calculator. Okay, so I hope nakikita nyo yung calculator. <laughs> Since naka-fraction yan, let's press that one. Ah, oh, sorry. Press that one. And then sa taas is 11 factorial. So you put 11. Tsaka shift, hanapin yung x exclamation. Yung x tapos exclamation mark. So press that one para malagay yung factorial. And then sa baba, we have here 4 factorial. Don't forget your parentheses, we are multiplying. And then another 4 factorial. And a 2 factorial. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 2 factorial. And just press equals. And then there you go. We have the answer. So the answer here is 34,650. Oh, yun guys, there are a lot of ways in which we can arrange the letters of the word Mississippi. So ganun guys, kapag binigyan kayo ng problem or in may magkakapareho na letters or magkakapareho na objects, you use this formula. Don't forget, yung nasa taas, yun yung kung ilan lahat yung items or objects. And then yung nasa baba, doon mo ilalagay yung bilang ng mga magkakaparehong letters. So, we have another one. It's circular permutation. 
So the number of circular permutations of n objects is given by this simple formula. n minus 1, the quantity factorial. So dito usually magbibigay sila ng problem kung saan, you know, you're going to ask the number of arrangements if you are going to arrange people in a round table or if you're going to arrange beads in a necklace and uh, others. So let's have some uh, sample problems. Okay, in how many ways can three people be seated around a circular table? So ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Okay, basta yung mga keyword na yan. Circle, circle, round, circular. Yan, gagamitin mo yung formula na to. So ano yung isa-substitute natin for n? Yun yung kung ilan yung i-arrange mo. Okay, so we have here three people. So that is 3 minus 1, the quantity factorial. 3 minus 1 is 2. So magiging 2 factorial yan. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. And so the final answer there is 2. And we have here another problem. In how many ways can you arrange 5 beads in a necklace? So similar process. We get the number of beads, deduct 1, and then the quantity factorial. So that will become 4 factorial. And 4 factorial is 24. So there are 24 ways in which we can arrange 5 beads in a necklace. And then last one, okay, so let's try to read this problem first. In how many ways can the letters of the word island be arranged so that the vowels are always together? Okay, so this problem has like a special condition and that condition is that the vowels should always be together. Okay, so one arrangement may look like this. Okay, yan yung isang arrangement. Nakabase yan sa condition wherein the vowels should be together. So how are we going to solve this? Ilang arrangements kaya ang mabubuo kung yung dalawang vowels nito ay dapat magkatabi? Okay, so ganito lang yan guys. Okay, para hindi tayo malito. Okay, i-circle ko yan and I will count that as one. Okay, ikakount ko yan as one letter kasi nga dapat nga, dapat magkatabi sila. So I'm going to do it this way. I'll count that as one. So there we have here four remaining letters. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five. We get that as write that as 5 factorial. Okay. This is another way of arranging. If you're going to look at it, pwede din namang ano, mauna si A kaysa kay I, basta nga magkatabi sila. So dito guys, pwede din nating interchange yung dalawang vowels, which is yung A at saka yung I. So pwede silang magpalit-palit. So that is 2 factorial. So ganun guys, uh, we have here 5 factorial, yun yung kung lahat-lahat sila, pero we also multiply we also consider yung arrangement ng dalawang vowels kasi pwede silang magpalit. So that will become 2 factorial. 5 factorial is 120 times 2 factorial which is 2. And so the answer here is 240. So there are 240 ways in which we can arrange the letters of the word island and that the vowels there are always together. So yun guys, ang lesson natin for today. I hope it helped you kahit konti lang. So don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your classmates. See you guys in the next video.